Today, in this video, I will try alcohol inks in Jesmonite. In these little three molds, see you in a second. Hello, thanks for joining me and welcome to my new subscribers. So today I'm very excited and very impatient because I'm going to try a new technique. I saw it on Claire's channel from Claire's Crafty Corner. She does absolutely amazing experiments with uh, Jasmonite. She tries a lot of things and I learn a lot from watching her. So we are going to use alcohol inks, of course. <laughs> So what, what thing to know, alcohol inks, when you mix them with the jasmonite, it doesn't work. They disappear completely in the jasmonite. But Claire uses a different technique, so well, go for it. I'll mix my jasmonite and see you in a second. Okay, my jasmonite is ready. So I have uh, first these little two molds and, well, let's get going. I don't know if my colors are going to match up well, but we'll see. So I put a few drops of ink. That's how I have seen it done. And then I pour a little jasmonite. The jasmonite has uh, this particularity that it pushes the alcohol ink on the sides. <laughs> and then we are going to make layers like that. Ink, jasmonite, ink, jasmonite, until uh, the mold is filled. I'm going to try a metallic ink too. We'll see if it works. What will it do? Mm -mm, mystery! don't know if I put enough uh, inks, but the result will tell. I have a doubt. I don't know if I will have enough jasmonite to fill my second mold. A little shaking for the air bubbles. Let's go for the second mold. It's of course uh, the same method and here I use black too.
I hope I don't get too many bubbles, especially on the sides. Hmm, <laughs> this one is really full. Maybe a bit too much. But we'll see. Well, I have some jasmonite left. I'm not going to waste it. I'm going to fill uh, my little cube mold. And here I will make in an other way. I will add some drops of ink in the container directly. And with my stick, I uh, will make a small swirl, but very fast and not too much. Otherwise, the ink will completely disappear in the jasmonite. And I'm going to pour in this cube. I uh, tilted my pot when I put the ink, uh, the ink and m maybe I shouldn't have. So we'll see the result. Okay, all it's done. Well, let it dry and see how it turn out. I can't wait. Oh, I'm so impatient to see the result. Yes, yes, yes. See you in a second. And that's it. Here we go. I'm so excited. So I don't know, but I hope... Uh, if it's completely dry. <laughs> I'm so exciting to see what effect I got. As always, with deep molds like this, unmolding is a, a bit uh, a challenge, but um, I have a lot of pain in my shoulder, so it's a bit complicated. But I'll get there. <laughs> and I begin with my little cube. Ooh, it's a, it's a very lovely, this little cube. The effect is real nice. Look, uh, this marbled effect is very, very pretty. I like it, yes. And then, as you can see, the, the ink doesn't get on my white gloves at all. So, it's perfect. I'm very happy with that. Now, let's see this one. It's really always uh, an adventure when you try new techniques. It's so exciting. I love that. <laughs> And then, as I often say, you learn. You learn from your mistakes, your discover. Uh, I, I love uh, trying new techniques. From what I see, the metallic color doesn't really stand out. Whoa. It's not a big deal. I know for the next time. On top, it's not very pretty. I think maybe I should have waited a tiny bit longer, maybe 15 minutes to unmold. I don't know. 
but um, you can see uh, that I got any marks on my glove, so it's okay. I uh, try to take off my mold carefully so as not to damage it. Uh, it's a bit longer, sorry. <laughs> So let's see. It's funny because there's like a, a drawing <laughs> completely involuntary. Uh, everything is dry. I have no traces. M maybe I, I dropped on a, a little on the sides. No, no, not even a little bit. So the metallic color here, metallic copper, it doesn't stand out much. Orange and brown come out well. Here I have um, a little, a very, very small asperity, but uh, it nothing at all. And look the, at the inside. It's nice, isn't it? It's very colorful. Uh, it's really funny, the effects with this technique and uh, the alcohol inks. And I don't have any bubbles. So, that's good too. I uh, put my mold uh, right away. It's important to keep the mold in good conditions. Okay, let's go to this one. I feel like I'm going to have fun and molding it. Um, <laughs> it's not going to be easy. I don't know if a release agent like uh, we, what we can use for uh, epoxy uh, would help. I'll have to try it. Mm, I need to find the right position for my arms because of these shoulder pains. I have to be careful with my movements. My physiotherapist wouldn't be happy if he saw me doing that. But anyway, if I make a bad movement, the pain reminds me. That's it. <laughs> so the back is not very pretty. I filled my mold a little bit too much and the ink came up on top. But otherwise it looks really nice. I love it. It looks very modern, um, like a terracotta, that kind of thing. Anyway, no trace on my gloves. I'm very happy with that. <laughs> Inside and outside, everything is okay. By the way, as you know, alcohol inks dry very quickly. What do you think? Do you like this technique? So, that's it for this little experiment. Of course, you use the colors you want. Maybe with a caveat of, for the metallics. I have a few more ideas for you. I, it will be for the next video. Don't forget 
the little thumbs up to help my little channel, leave me a comment. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you soon. Bye.